we are talking Tour of Duty Season 2, Episode 13, Sins of Our Father. This one uh, guest stars recognisable actress uh, Melora Hardin, um, and it focuses on a serial killer episode. Um, we have a kind of a story with Zeke is uh, essentially has taken out like a, a female sniper and is sort of have, has mixed feelings about it. Um, and we kind of meet Melora Hardin's character as a kind of potential future love interest for Zeke. Um, but that's not the main story here. The main story focuses on this new uh, character called Cassidy, who he has come into the like the platoon, and he has um, essentially he has a kind of a connection to uh, Goldman, to Goldman who has promised to kind of uh, you know shape him up to be a kind of a good soldier. But this guy is like a, essentially a kind of a psychopath, and he's also uh, you might say somewhat racist, particularly to Taylor. And you know, he's a real kind of wild card. Um, at the same time, we have these uh, prostitutes that are getting um, killed. And obviously Cassidy being the kind of like the, um, showing certainly psychopathic tendencies is obviously uh, um, under the cosh for it. Now, who is the serial killer? You'll have to watch the, uh, uh, the episode and find out. So let's discuss. So yeah, this one kind of, um, is a, more of a self-contained episode to a certain degree, as they, t as they tend to be uh, largely in this kind of uh, this kind of series. Um, it's a kind of a fun episode, having this very kind of different theme in regards to having a kind of a serial killer who is going to be a kind of a GI or an American at the very least, um, which gives it a kind of a different type of antagonist compared to like the VC. Although we still do have a. Uh, a couple of um, sequences, you know, fighting the kind of the VC as well. I think the the standout for me is the character of Cassidy it is is a real like um, memorable character in some ways because he seems so unhinged, and he has a very complicated relationship with Taylor, which I really enjoyed. But therein lies the problem for me is that this that this series keeps on doing it, and it normally involves Taylor. They introduce her like a guest character and they make out like he's going to be part of the series going forward. And then we never see him again. It's happened a few times already and it normally say involves uh, Taylor. There was the, you know, the episode where we have him selling kind of air conditioning tokens. And there was a guy, a new recruit that he kind of got friendly with and that seemed like it was going to be a good character dynamic. Never saw that guy again. And we never see Cassidy uh, again after this either. Um, so this series has a real inconsistency, unfortunately, in regards to, you know, introducing potential kind of interesting new relationships and character dynamics, and then just kind of like, you will just go back to the kind of the regular cast. I mean, it's like Menorah Hardin, she, she is back for uh, more than one episode, but, you know, I wanted to kind of see a little bit more what happened with the Cassidy character, and there's been, there's been others as well, like, that have been introduced. Um, so I, I, found that I find this a little frustrating for this series. Not necessarily for this specific episode, but because this series kind of keeps doing things like this, um, I, I do find it uh, frustrating. But the guy who plays Cassidy, um, I think that's a great performance because he really, that he looks like he's quite a big guy. And he genuinely looks like you, you would just snap if you said the, said the, the, the same, um, that took the wrong thing to him. And I think uh, Miguel Nunez Jr., who plays Taylor, I think they have a, a really good back and forth in regards to this kind of um, kind of relationship, which is very uh, odd to each other for, for, for a certain time. But there is an occasion, for example, where um, Cassidy actually saves Taylor, uh, but Taylor doesn't really know what to kind of to do with it. And, and I thought it was, you know, it had some interesting elements. I mean, the the serial killer, I mean, we have to find a way to kind of like stuff Alex Devlin into this story, which I have to be honest with you, it, it, it kind of grates on me a little bit. The, 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 you know, we have to find ways to incorporate that character uh, into the kind of storylines. That's because obviously the mandate for season two was to try and attract more of a female audience. So we have to try and find ways for, um, you know, her character mainly to be kind of incorporated into the stories. And it, and it feels really, forced at times and this is one of those um, where, I, where I do feel 
you know, it, it does kind of feel a little forced. Um, so overall, you know, I, I think it's a, a reasonable episode. Um, again, you kind of thing you wish you you wish you kind of would see more of the kind of like the aftermath of it to a degree. And like I said, I do feel um, again it, the, the kind of the focus shifting onto the Alex Devlin character takes time away from um, other characters. So for me, it's a six out of ten. It's okay, you know, it's okay. It's um, a great performance, but it's kind of like a, a, a what if to a certain degree. It's like what could have been to a certain degree. Uh, what did you think of this episode? Please do leave me a comment on our channel. Forty. Next time. Bye for now.